Hello everyone, today in Sandi's Cookery and Lifestyle, we are going to see how to prepare a masala kichdi. Masala kichdi is a variation of the simple dal kichdi wherein rice and different types of dals are pressure cooked along with some spices and some veggies. This is a very quick, healthy and a one pot recipe which can be easily prepared and this goes very well with papads and pickle. So before we go into the recipe as to how to prepare this, if you are watching my video for the first time, I would request you all to subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell icon for further interesting recipes and notifications. I have taken 1 cup of rice. You can take any rice, raw rice or some people take even basmati rice. Today I have taken the jeera rice uh, which will have a very good flavor. So this is, you get this India Gate jeera rice also. For 1 cup of the jeera rice, I have taken half a cup of yellow moong dal and quarter cup of masoor dal and quarter cup of the tuwar dal. Basically, it is 1 is to 1, 1 cup of rice and 1 cup of dal. So, you can either use 1 cup of moong dal itself or a combination of any dals you prefer. Some ghee for flavoring. And I have taken today the mixed vegetables, the cauliflower, carrots, beans, peas. And I am going to make a paste of the ginger and garlic. I have taken 3 flakes of garlic and 2 to 3 pieces of ginger. I have taken bay leaf, mustard seeds, jeera and red chilli and hing or the asafoetida powder. For the masala powders, I have taken the red chilli powder. This is the mix of the dhania and jeera powder and little bit of garam masala powder and some salt to taste. Half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Uh, I have also taken one onion finely chopped and two tomatoes finely chopped, some coriander leaves, some curry leaves and half lemon which is to be squeezed at the end and two to three green chilli slit. Kasuri methi as a flavoring agent. This is optional. So you need to wash the rice and dal at least two to three times. So in the pressure pan, first I am adding some ghee. We can either add a mix of ghee and oil or only pure ghee. In the heated ghee, I am adding the bay leaf, red chilli, mustard, jeera. Also adding the slit green chilli, some curry leaves. I am also adding some ghee or the asafoetida. Basically, the kichri can be prepared plain with just giving the tadka with rice and dal. Or we can add all the vegetables. So, I prefer to add some vegetables in it so that it becomes a serves a nutrition meal by itself. If you don't want to add vegetables or if you don't take onions or garlic ginger, then you can just give the tadka with this on the cooked rice and dal. You can see that the mustard seeds have begun to splatter. At this stage, I am just going to add the onion. I will also be adding the ginger garlic paste. I mostly prefer to add fresh ginger garlic paste instead of buying it from the shops. So this gives a very good flavor and it's good for health as well. So once the onions are fried, I'm just going to add the finely chopped tomatoes as well. Let the onion, tomato get nicely fried. So I'm just adding the turmeric powder and some amount of salt and let it get cooked properly. So after the tomatoes have got fried, I am adding the mixed veggies. I have actually washed it. Just fry the veggies for a few minutes. At this stage, I will be adding the red chilli powder. This you can add as per your spice levels. And the dhania jeera powder. Mix it nicely. After 2-3 to three minutes, I am just going to add the rice and dal along with the water. I have actually added 6 cups of water. So basically the rice and dal together was around 2 cups. So I am adding 6 cups of water which is actually 3 times the measurement. At this stage you can check for salt and if required you can add salt accordingly. I am adding around half a teaspoon of garam masala powder. Again this is also optional. Finally I am also adding some amount of ghee. Close the lid of the pressure pan. And I am going to leave it for about 2 to 3 whistles. So it depends on the cooker which you are using. If the whistle comes out very fast, then you can keep it for 3 whistles. Otherwise, 2 whistles is more than enough. So after 3 whistles, I am just going to open the pressure pan. The kitchen is perfectly cooked. You can just mix it up. For final garnish, I am just going to add some ghee. And I am also going to squeeze in some lemon juice. This will add to the flavor of the kichdi. Garnish with some fresh coriander leaves. We can also add some kasuri methi. It will just going to add some flavor to the kichdi. Uh, but again, this is optional. So now we are going to transfer this to the serving bowl. So 
finally we are going to give a thadka this is again optional so this is a thadka with garlic so in case if you are a garlic lover you can always do that otherwise you can just leave it so once the oil gets heated up i am adding the red chilli finely chopped garlic so once the garlic gets fried i am also adding little bit of hing and also some curry leaves so very tasty yummy healthy masala dal khichdi is ready this goes very well with curd pickle or papad so this can be easily prepared if you have all the ingredients ready so i hope you'll all try out this recipe and if you like it please share it with your friends and relatives have a great day